Hi, my name is Jeff Sayre, one of the founders of Sayre Brothers Games. Today is the day we get to unbox our next generation of prototypes. We've worked very hard at iterating prototype number three for the Pentahex game board unit, and we have it in this box right here. This time, we've used Sculptio as our 3D service company, printing service company. And the reason we did that is just to try out a different company. Uh, we don't have an allegiance to one or the other yet. Uh, we tried Shapeways before, we were very happy with them. Their customer service was excellent. They uh, over uh, delivered, under promised and over delivered. In other words, uh, the products came sooner than they said they would. The same thing happened with Sculptio. The interesting thing with Sculptio is not only did the products arrive sooner than they said they would, uh, they also have, I think, more innovative, more um, current ways of communicating with their clients. For instance, uh, when the product was done printing and shipped, I received a text message as well as an email. So it was nice to also have that instant contact via my smartphone that our prototypes were literally uh, on their way. Also with Sculptio, there was a issue with the design files, apparently with the design files, we submitted the graphics on the bottom, basically the Sayre Brothers uh, games logo branding on the very bottom of the Pentahex unit was not attached or had become detached from the file. Now, whether that happened when Tinkercad was communicating the files to Sculptio or if it's something I forgot to uh, group and uh, attach, I'm not sure, but they discovered that before they printed it, which means they have a very uh, successful QA, QC, quality assurance, quality control program. And they contacted me saying they discovered this, they had made a fix, they were able to make a fix, and they uploaded to a private location on their servers the corrected files and would I please go look at them and approve them or deny them whatever way uh, I wanted to go. And they were very, they were fine. They did a good job. I approved them and the order was ready to go again. Um, so we will unbox these in a second. Gonna wait for one of my brothers, Michael, to come and we'll do the unboxing on a different video and talk about the new generation, the new iteration, prototype three of the Pentahex board units. But uh, I wanted to just talk a little bit about working with Sculptio and uh, versus Shapeways and also working with a new vendor, uh, a second new vendor, not only Sculptio, but Pinoco. Pinoco is a, uh, a maker uh, service company. They work with uh, makers all over the world to, um, in one second, Michael is here. I'm gonna pause the video. The second new service we used is Pinoco. And Pinoco is a company that's been around for a while, actually, and one of the first companies to offer distributed manufacturing to makers. They focus on laser cutting. They also do offer some 3D printing, but we wanted to use Pinoco uh, to do laser cutting of our uh, a couple of our game pieces, basically our two atomic game piece shapes because 3D printing them is terribly expensive. A single unit or two or half a dozen units is really not that expensive, but we wanted to have a hundred or so of them to uh, use as we were testing out prototype three of the Pentahex board unit. So we submitted our design files for two of the atomic game pieces to Pinoco and that worked quite well. They were actually had a question about the size of the pieces and they contacted us before they submitted the job. So they were very responsive and they had pretty good QA, QC as well. Uh, the final game pieces will be one eighth inch thick each. When you work through Pinoco or other laser cutting services, you are limited in materials in, in terms of the thickness of the material depending on what they offer in stock. And I believe what we 
picked was a three millimeter thickness where technically we'd need 3.2, 3.18 to be exactly one eighth of an inch, but 3.2 uh, would be the desirable thickness. And these are gonna be three millimeters thick, but that's okay for testing purposes. Besides the final game pieces will be mass produced through we're guessing plastic injection molding. We'll get the exact dimensions we need, X, Y, and Z dimensions. We probably will not be laser cutting them because that would be, again, too expensive. Although laser cutting 100 or so game pieces is a lot cheaper than 3D printing the game pieces, but then uh, plastic injection molding is a lot che cheaper per unit than laser printing. That is, when you're printing tens or hundreds of thousands of pieces, there's quite a big setup cost for the pl plastic injection mold. So that is something to take into consideration. Anyway, the little packaging is kind of fun. Yay. Um, and what we're going to do now is actually unbox these and look at our next generation of Pentax units and some of the game pieces.